like back with a special edition episode about violence and how people ain't taking responsibility like they should, blaming music, movies, whatever, and stuff like that. We just watched, got done watching the ICP interview from Nightline, and they were talking about a couple murders that happened because a couple of uh, the fans of ICP committed these murders, and they call, you know, they're accusing the Juggalos of being a gang now. Fans of ICP, no one's Juggalos. Me and Robin are big ICP fans. We've been fans for years. But I'm not, I'm not a Juggalo. I'm not a fan of. Their music. Well, I'm just glad you're honest, Tony. You're not <laughs> yeah. lying your ass. At least you're not lying your ass off. Yeah, we just saw this interview. They think ICP should take some responsibility for this. I was like, this is an age-old debate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was the same thing when horror movies back in the 80s. Does it really cause violence? No. You know why these people do what they do? Because they're fucked in the head. This country's got more people with mental problems and should be listening to certain things. Especially like band like ICP. I mean, if you know that you got a disorder or a, a kind of a little mental problem, and you know you're easy to snap and kill somebody, don't fucking listen to it or watch anything. Th- this is the thing that pisses me off. You see, where the fuck are the parents? Mm-hmm. Oh wait, they're gonna accuse our favorite bands because the parents can't take the responsibility. Oh, let's just blame it on Marilyn Manson or they did that to Ozzy Osbourne and Judas, Judas Priest. Priest. Let's blame it on Judas Priest or let's blame it on whoever else. Parents, you disgust me that say, oh, I think it was the music my kids were listening to or the movies my kids were watching. You know what? You about, disgust me. How about spending time with them? Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. Especially those kids from Columbine. You know, they accused Marilyn Manson right off the bat for, you know, my, me, myself, I'm not a fan of Marilyn Manson. But what the guy is doing, it's just an act. Yeah. He's getting paid to do put on a show. Same thing with ICP. ICP is doing it for the showbiz, and they're doing it because they're ma- making the fans happy. It has nothing to do with the lyrics. It just has to do with us having a good time and having fun. So what a couple fucked up crazy assholes ruin it for everybody else. I mean, they make a, make it look like we're crazy. Mm-hmm. Or like anybody else is crazy. We live pretty boring lives. <laughs> we're the most boring yeah, yeah. motherfuckers in the world. Uh, unfortunately, but yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's I, I, I have it's, to so, say, uh, it's I, so real. I have to say, you know, I prefer a boring life. I don't want uh, to be in a gang or anything like that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want an exciting life. I want oh, no, my we're, life to be We're boring. jugglers, but we're part of a gang, Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're an internet. That game. <laughs> you know, yeah, this is the thing that irritates the hell out of me because the parents won't take responsibility for why their kids are all fucked in the head in the first place. You know what? Why don't you quit pushing TV, movies, and music on these kids as to raising them mm. as part of the thing? But you don't want to do, you know, you just say, oh, here, watch the TV. This will, you know. Throw, throw in Barney. <laughs> yeah, throw in Barney or throw in, you know. Barney's just the first step. Yeah, Barney's just the first step, you know. Come on. <laughs> it's it's gotten a little ridiculous over the years, and I'm sick tired of fucking hearing about the bands or the movies being the blame for all the shit. And take some fucking responsibility, asshole. And what about the positive aspect from the ICP music? Positive. Let's yeah. Hear it. Let's go. All this is having a good time, drinking fago, spraying in freaking air, riding <laughs> with riding with fat chicks and loving fat chicks. <laughs> That's which is a pretty much positive thing. Yeah. As I know, some of us have come to love fat women. Yeah. <laughs> And if you take the lyrics from the songs and can just digest them, like in Halls of Illusion, all it basically means is a judgment day coming for child molesters and pedophilers and, and fucking bad parents yeah. that beat on their kids and shit. That's what Halls of Illusion stands for to me. Yeah. Piggy Pie, the end with the with the dude sleeping on a bed filled with $100 bills, not giving it back What's to the community. What does that tell you about? That tells you right there that's about greed. People always take the shit the wrong way mm-hmm. and they just shoot it like 10 times different ways and stuff like that. Oh, look, this is what they're teaching. No, you guys don't get the messages. I listen to the music because I like the way it sounds. It's really good music for me to listen to. I don't really consider myself a violent person. I'm not a violent person. I just like to... Says the man with Punisher (laughs) t-shirt on. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, says the man with Punisher t-shirt on. We get our violent tendencies out in different ways. Yeah, we play video games. Yeah. Yeah. Video games, we watch violent movies. Yeah. None of us has any tendency to go actually kill someone. No. No. 
why? Why would we? And the thing that got me was that they're stressing that it, it's all ICP's fault. Like, ICP's just this new thing that's come out. Yeah. And ICP's been around since 92, 93. Right. The sad part is, is that when Great Maliko came out, you know what I heard? When I bought my ticket to go see um, them during their Bizarre Bizarre tour, I heard most of their money goes towards battered women because of oh, yeah. Violent J's mom and stuff like hey. that. You know, and I was like, okay, this is a band that sings that kind of stuff, but they're considered, you know, very violent people. No. Guys like this who are nice enough to do that, who've been through the shit, who've exactly. done it all, and is b doing that to do that to give it to battered women, hell, I have a lot of respect for people who do shit like that. I really do. Mm -hmm. There's no reason for people to all go and accuse a band like ICP when they've been through enough in their lives as anybody else has been. It's just like, you know, Violent J, he, what was it? He used to, he used to be, uh, used to rob people and stuff until he got arrested and put in jail. And then he just, you know, things came into perspective for him and they started up ICP. Look where he's at now. Very successful career. Career, very good life, a family man, everything else. I don't know why people got to act like that when it comes to the kind of music. So. All right, they're playing a gimmick which has been played for years and years. Alice Cooper, Kiss playing a gimmick. Now ICP is playing a gimmick, and I'm sure there's other bands that are playing a gimmick like Marilyn Manson. Yeah. But I mean, that's all it is, entertainment. Well, it's like I got irritated when they start bitching at horror movies for being. You know what? Shut up. I don't want to hear nothing from you. You're an irresponsible fucking parent who let your kids watch the shit when you know they got problems upstairs or you need to start asking your kids questions and finding out how, what is wrong with your kids if there is any problem with your kid. That's what you need to do instead of pushing them off, pawning them off on a fucking television mm -hmm. stuff. To expect the A-team to raise them or expect the fucking all this other shit to raise them. I mean, come on, that's that bad parenting right there. What do you think, Tony? Well, see, this is the thing is I, I don't understand why there's still news stories out there like this. This is it's, it's really ridiculous because blaming music and blaming movies and television and, and video games it's been around forever yeah I mean even like the, like the 60s you know parents hated the Beatles because they had long hair and stuff <laughs> like that and and and, 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 and hippie and, music yeah and, and 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 even like Elvis you know they thought oh him swinging his hip is too sexual you know I mean this uh, it's, it's been around forever and it's ridiculous that you can find Find one specific thing. Oh, this is it. If we get rid of this, then all our problems will be solved. You know, and that's uh, uh, that mindset is so ridiculous. I mean, well, me and Mike argue about guns, but you say if you get rid of guns, we'll get rid of a lot of violence. Is that yeah. what you said? Kind of in a way, yeah. My point is, you get rid of guns, and that's not going to get rid of violence. People stop shooting each other, and they'll grab knives and start stabbing each other. Baseball bat. Baseball bat. Yeah. I mean, violence is been around since the beginning of time yeah you're not it's not gonna end and stopping uh, s taking out icp of the equation you know taking say we put them in jail that's not gonna that's not gonna stop people from killing these no because their music's still out there their music's still out there well <laughs> Their, their, their music that's still out there it doesn't it doesn't encourage people no, to kill no. never has for me well it's just like they said in the interview that a couple bad apples go and ru ruins it for everybody else yeah you know that's what he said he says a couple bad apples we got cuckoo cuckoo and no one's bothered to check them out no that's the problem nowadays nobody takes the time we're so it's like Tony said this is a, a this has been around forever this is the thing that irritates me and him both which I do agree with Tony on this, that and they need to give it up. Start quit bitching about it and start watching your kids or see if your kids need help for Christ's sake. Stop, you know? stop passing the blame on someone else for your bad parenting. Yeah. Try taking responsibility for your kids and if you're more involved in your kids' lives, they wouldn't be doing stuff like this. Yeah, exactly. Quit wanting to give them the TV and, and work on work on your intimate, intimacy with your partner yeah. or your husband or wife or whatever and shoving them toward shoving the kids towards the TV so you can work on sex time for us. There's always going to be sex time. <laughs> and, I mean, and there's always so many of these organizations, well we need this for Haiti, we need this for earthquake victims, tsunami victims. What about the problems we have here in our own country? You know, this is this is getting a little bit monotonous and I'm getting really sick of it myself, the hearing this shit over and over and over again. I'm getting tired of listening to this. This argument is ridiculous anymore. My main thing is leave ICP the fuck alone. 
leave the other bands alone. Like I said, they're out there just like anybody else trying to make money. Yeah, but, you know, like ICP, they do care about things. It's like, like I said, I heard an interview that Violent J gave to Fangoria a pod, on a podcast. He says, I got kids. I got, you know, me and Shaggy. Yeah, Shaggy's got kids. Stuff like that. And, that, uh, you know, they live perfectly normal lives and everything else. And, you know, there's nothing messed up about these guys. They had a couple bad spots in their lives, but they straighten that out all out. Look, they got, a, like I said, a real successful career. People don't realize or can't separate that it's it's not real. It's just an act. 